Hi, this is Kara, and this is DIY on the House. Today we are going to talk about one of my favorite crafts using the Cricut machine. There is not enough words to say how much fun I have making signs throughout our house. We, you can actually go on an inspirational journey through our house. We've used windows, we've used wood, we've used metal to make all sorts of signs. And today I'm going to show you seven different Cricut hacks that will save you money and make your projects a little bit easier. The first hack I want to say is visit the thrift store to find old signs that you can repurpose to be your own. So here is one that is already painted on. This one I'm actually not sure what it is, but these are two, three dollars. This one was 99 cents. You can just take a sander, sand off theirs, and then you put your own message on there. You have a sign that already comes with a hanger. It is a really, really good way to use something else for your design. Speaking of thrift stores and using something else, my favorite base for a sign is a cutting board. Every time I go to the thrift store, I go to the, the cooking uh, section and see if there is a, cu a cutting board, no matter what size. In fact, here's one that made for our church and we changed the hours, so I got a different cutting board and made a new sign for them, but it already comes seasoned, just sand off the scratching. I used these cutting boards to make address signs for family. Last year at Christmas, everyone got a cutting board with a personalized name and address on it. So I really, really love cutting boards. They can even come huge. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with this one yet. It came with uh, legs on the back. If I want to take the legs off to make a sign or I could crick it right on it for something on a table for someone. But for $3, I thought it had great potential. The next tip that is incredibly valuable are Bondo spreaders. These actually come in a three pack at Walmart. I think the last one I saw was $1.47. These are invaluable as you apply your uh, transfer tape, as you apply uh, the vinyl to wood, to glass. If you're putting it on an automobile, I love that they come in various sizes. My husband stole the third one, so I only have two, but two is uh, just perfect. You have big and little, so this is an invaluable tip to use for your Cricut Arsenal. On the topic of Walmart, this is the next deal that you can find at Walmart. These are little X-Acto knives, the kind that you can uh, make the blade go up and break off as it gets dull. And you can see this one is just full of paint. As there's goobers, I call them, when I um, am painting, this you can scrape this off, you can weed with these. 47, maybe 57 cents a piece, totally worth getting a couple of these for your Cricut box. The next thing that you need to have is a really good tool to do your weeding with. This is a lifesaver. This is actually a dental set that I ordered off of eBay with shipping was $4.50 I believe and it comes with a mirror. I have no idea what we're going to use the mirror with but it came with two tools, very sharp, some with a little end on it. These are fantastic for weeding. And so let me show you how that works. This one it has just a curved tip. I love that this one has a little uh, bend to it. So for weeding, you need them to be nice and fine point so that you can just get under your vinyl and pull it off. I do want to show you something that does not work. I was given the tip to get these at Harbor Freight. They are so big and chunky that it wasn't very much of an investment, just a few dollars, but it was not worth the investment. So I would stick with these. They come down to around $2 a piece and uh, they just work wonderfully. They just really grab onto the vinyl and pull it right off. 
the next thing that I want to share is the transfer tape. I can't tell you how many articles I read on how important it is to get a really high quality uh, transfer tape. But to be honest, I could not justify spending the money. So I have tried all different things. The best that I have found is contact paper. I actually ordered this one off of Amazon. Uh, they do carry it uh, at uh, Walmart. It's hit and miss if it's in stock. But this stuff is fantastic. Uh, it is uh, economical enough that I don't have to worry about um, wasting it. So it is simple as pulling off the corner. If you're not familiar with uh, what you're supposed to do on transfer tape, there we go. The way I do it is I pull off the whole thing. I make it generous enough in size. This is uh, the decal that I had just weeded. You might not be able to see the tape very well, um, but you lay down your design in the middle, bend it in the middle. This is where the little Bondo knives come in, and you go both directions. I flip it over as smooth as can be. Here's the bigger Bondo knife if you wanted to use that. And you have now your uh, decal. At this point then, to, pr to put it on whatever, if, if I'm gonna put this on wood, you just slowly pull back your design. And if little pieces lift, see there's a little piece there, you just go back. and is now ready to apply to your project. The next thing I wanna tell you, if you're like me, space is a premium in your craft room and I needed to find a way to organize my contact paper, my vinyl, my heat transfer. The best thing I found was a shoe organizer and it doesn't have to hang in a closet. I, we actually hung ours using a, uh, uh, a shelf bracket. Just simply put a shelf bracket up near the ceiling and this is fantastic. There's even a spot for your scraps. Honest to pieces, that's the best 99 cents I have spent at a thrift store. Well, I hope these tips were valuable to you. Just keep your eyes out at the thrift store and you um, will be amazed at how much fun you can have building your Cricut arsenal. I thank you so much for joining DIY in the House. If you wouldn't mind, take time to subscribe, give me the thumbs up, and check back often. I have more videos planned on little Cricut tips that I have learned over time. Thanks so much.